All right, what's up guys? I wanted to make this video really quick because I wanted to tell you guys you need to stop using interpret footage in Premiere Pro. Interpreting footage has caused issues for a very long time. Uh, one of the most notable ones is when working with proxies, you have to do a very stupid and silly workaround to make it work. And now there is the time remap glitch with interpreted footage where if you interpret your footage and then try and time remap it, the clip will skip all over the place and just look really bad. Uh, and that doesn't happen if you slow the footage down on the timeline with speed duration and then time remap. Everything works fine if you do it that way. The only problem is when you interpret footage. And I talked to an Adobe dev and he said the interpret footage panel was never meant to be used for batch slow motion. It, that's not what it was designed for. It was designed for the rare case where a camera's metadata for a file was reading the wrong frame rate and you needed Premiere to force it to read it as something else. It was never designed for batch slow motion. There's another way to do that in Premiere Pro that for some reason no one knows about, but it solves all of the issues. The time remap glitch goes away. You can slow motion your proxies. Uh, everything works just fine. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now, but I just wanted to say stop using interpret your footage. Just Stop using that. So we've got a bunch of footage over here that is in 60 frames per second. I'm gonna highlight all of it and then right click. Now, instead of going to modify interpret footage, you're going to go to speed duration and change this number. And I've already got it slowed down, but I'll change this back to 100. And then we'll do this one more time, speed duration. 40%. And you do 40% for 60 frames per second because that will make it play back in 24 frames per second. So I'm gonna do that. And now if we drag one of these clips onto the timeline, you will see that it is playing in slow motion. Right? So it's the same exact thing as interpreting footage. It literally the same amount of clicks. The only thing that is slightly different is if you had 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 120 frames per second, you would have to do different percents for all of them and you can't just slow them all down by 40%, but we'll get to an easy workaround for that as well. Now, I've also generated a proxy for this file and all I did was right click proxy, create proxies, and then clicked okay and let Media Encoder make it. I didn't do any of the weird workarounds that you had to do for proxies uh, with slow motion in the past. Now watch, if I turn the proxy on and play this back, it also plays back in slow motion. And if I speed this back up on the timeline to 100%, the proxy now plays back at real speed and so does the original file. So doing speed duration makes the proxy respect that slow motion. Whereas with interpret footage, that didn't really work at all. And now if I go back to 40%, I could speed ramp this clip all day long and everything would be just fine. So let's throw a ridiculous speed ramp on here and play this back. And you can see it plays back just fine. If we had interpreted that clip, it would have been a nightmare. So now if you want to batch select a bunch of footage, let's say you have a huge mix of footage, 24 frames per second, 30, 60, and 120. The easy way to highlight all of it is right click in your project panel, new search bin, change this to frame rate, and then come over here and type the frame rate you wanna search for, so 59.94. And what this will do is it'll make a bin that has all of your 60 frames per second footage, and then you could highlight all of it speed duration slowed down by 40%. Now you could do the same exact thing for 30 frames per second. So I'm gonna do frame rate and then 29.94. And now we should get a bin. I guess I don't have any footage. Oh no, sorry, it's not 29.94, silly me. It's 29.97. So let's change that, 29.97. And boom, now I have all my 30 frames per second footage and I could right click this and then go to speed duration and then do 80%, which would make it play back at 24 frames per second. So if you wanna be able to easily find all of your different frame rates, you can do that by creating a search bin. So yeah, there you guys go. This is the recommended workflow for batch slow motion. Stop interpreting your footage because the way people are using it, it was never meant to be used that way. And you're probably only going to continue having issues in the future if you use a feature for something that it was not meant to be used for. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know.